Over the years, numbers of great crested newts have declined, making them a threatened species within the United Kingdom. The species, alongside their eggs, breeding sites and resting places, are protected by law, with species now being a priority under the UK's Biodiversity Action Plan. It is illegal to catch, possess or handle a great crested newt without a licence, and the harm or disruption of the species and its habitat is a criminal offence. The great crested newt, known as Triturus cristatus, is the largest newt native to Britain, reaching up to approximately 17 centimetres in length. It has granular skin, which is attributed to its unpalatable toxic glands which protect it from predation. In its terrestrial phase, the great crested newt is dark grey, brown or black with a bright yellow and black spotted underside. Adult males can be identified by their spiky crest which runs along the body and tail. This species does not require a high quality of water but can usually be found within ponds that have a circumneutral pH. Then habitat type is broad and varies greatly from pastoral and arable farmland to woodland, scrub and grassland. Breeding sites usually consist of medium sized ponds with ditches and other water body types being utilised less frequently. Aquatic spaces with ample vegetation are favoured for egg laying in the spring, with larvae developing over summer and emerging in August to October, taking an average of two to four years to reach maturity. Juveniles reside mostly on land and terrestrial environments. The Great Crested Newt is widespread throughout England and Wales and occurs sparsely within the South West, Mid Wales and Scotland. The species cannot be found in Northern Ireland. Populations in the UK are large and cover a wide range of habitats with a varied degree of ecological characters. The National Great Crested Newt population stands at an estimated 400,000 animals with an 18,000 breeding sites. Great Crested Newts can be found in rural, urban and post-industrial environments and often occur in metapopulations that encompass several ponds. At the majority of sites, adults stay around 250 metres of the breeding pond, with density of newts decreasing gradually with distance. However, individuals will travel further for high quality foraging and refuge habitat, making fragmentation and loss of landscape connectivity detrimental. How does the habitat and species need protecting and what are drivers of decline? The eradication of habitat is one of the driving factors for declining population numbers, which tend to be caused by human activity, including maintenance or restoration of ponds and other crucial terrestrial habitats such as woodland, scrub and grassland. Plowing within the vicinity of breeding ponds, the removal of dense vegetation, excavating the ground, e.g. removing a building or fixing a wall, and filling or destroying water bodies. Building and development can harm both newts and their habitat greatly by removing or causing unsuitable or isolated habitat, impacting existing species, thus reducing food sources, altering water tables, introducing predatory species such as fish, which will feed on eggs and young, and increasing human populations within the area causing chemical runoff from traffic and pollutants. But what has been done to conserve the species and its habitat? Monitoring. Natural England spent three years completing the largest survey of its type for the Great Crested Newts across England, allowing for the introduction of the district level licensing programme. With the permissions of landowners and in collaboration with contractors, Natural England surveyed over 7,518 ponds using environmental DNA sampling methods to determine the presence or absence of newts. Data collected has aided in the production of species distribution models, allowing for the suitable habitat predictions for the species. This data is available to all and supports populations while reducing delays for those seeking to undergo developments. Monetization of the Great Crested Newt allows scientists, policy makers, local environmental record centres, groups such as wildlife trusts and environmental managers protect the species more efficiently. Management Typical pond management does not require a licence, assuming that it's designed to improve the site in question and involves little risk of damage or disruption to the species and its habitat. A conservation licence is required if planned work is to be an offence in relation to the species, e.g. death or injury of animals and or destruction of breeding sites or resting places. It's advised that all pond management works are carefully planned in advance and a survey of the immediate area is completed as a precaution by a licensed and experienced professional in order to lower the likelihood of an offence taking place. 
pond management work is best carried out between the late autumn and winter months when great crested newt populations are lower within ponds. How can you help the great crested newt? Creating new ponds is a highly cost-effective way to benefit wildlife. Ponds have the potential to support a large aquatic density and are one of the most biodiverse habitats in England. The creation of ponds is key to improving the conservation status of the species due to the crucial role they play in amphibian ecology. Aided by licensed professionals, groups of volunteers gather together to build and then maintain or restore ponds which become overgrown or full of silt. This ensures that the habitat remains suitable for those living there. In order to monitor the impact of newly created ponds on colonisation and the wider population, simple glass jar traps are set to trap animals in preparation for note-taking of vital statistics. All great crested newts have a unique set of markings on their underside, making identification of individuals relatively easy. Once newts have been studied, they are released back into their original environment. Legislation The Great Crested Newt is protected under several laws, including the Wildlife Countryside Act 1981, which is the main legislation for nature conservation in Britain. The Act protects native species, especially those threatened, controls the release of species non-native to Britain, increases site protection for species of scientific interest, and adds to the rights of way rules within national parks. Other legislation includes Burn Convention 1979, the Conservation of Habitats and Species Regulations 2017, and Countryside Rights of Way Act 2000, which make it an offence to intentionally kill, injure, capture or destroy eggs of crested newts, keep, transport, advertise, sell or exchange great crested newts or anything derived from them, and damage, destroy or obstruct access to breeding sites, resting places or anywhere used by the species as shelter or protection. Failing to abide by legislation could result in an unlimited fine and up to six months in prison per offence. What's the future of the great crested newt within the UK? A new method of surveying called eDNA, short for environmental DNA, is currently being rolled out across the country and could substantially speed up the procedure of determining whether great crested newts are present within bodies of water. eDNA can be found in faeces, mucus, gametes, shed skin, hair and the deceased and can be detected in water samples. With Natural England's announcement of their strategic approach to licensing in February 2020, great crested newts are better protected than ever before, with the working at landscape as opposed to site-by-site -site scale and issuing conservation payments for developers to create new habitats in the most beneficial locations. Despite being protected under UK law, the species has seen a dramatic decline over the last 60 years, with an estimated 50% of ponds being lost in the 20th century. The scheme has been adopted by developers across the country with the first in Kent aiming to develop over 5,500 new homes, four schools, community land for leisure use, open green space, recycling facilities and six ponds within the most suitable locations for great crested newts. New habitats created under this award-winning evidence-based scheme are to be maintained and monitored for 25 years. The addition of new habitat and protection offered by legislation has the potential to reverse Great Crested Newt population decline and promote the species long into the future. For further information on Great Crested Newt ecology, habitat, management, legislation, surveying and monitoring and more, please refer to the Great Crested Newt Conservation Handbook, free to all from Frog Life.